In the football fever this morning, the Ohio State Buckeyes are on the road and they have a big game tonight against the Nittany Lions. And with the Bucks' young players starting to excel, how does this team need to play against the best defense yeah, that the team has seen so far this season. Former Ohio State Buckeye and TFF analyst Jay Richardson joins us with his take this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. All right. So uh, it's kind of an intense atmosphere tonight there. It's going to be a whiteout. Happy a Valley. Fans. Yeah. It's always crazy. Um, that's one of the most exciting places for a visiting player to play. At least for me, I love the way games. Mm -hmm. I like playing against a hostile environment. It just gets everything going. They're going to have their fan section full early in the day, and they're going to be going crazy. Um, we got a young team. This will be their first true road test like this. But I, with our talent and what we have right now and the way they're playing right now, it's just going to be very tough for Penn State to compete with that. But the one big player that they're talking about, though, is Penn State's quarterback, Christian Hackenberg. Christian you know, Hackenberg. What does our defensive line have to do against him? If I'm Bosa, Washington, Bennett, and those guys, I slept like a baby last night because Christian Hackenberg, Good quarterback, actually. His numbers don't always reflect that. The guy's got an NFL arm, a lot of NFL potential. A lot of coaches see him at the next level. Problem is, the guy's in front of him blocking for him. This is one of the worst O lines. He's been sacked 20 times. And our defensive line should have a pad your stats kind of game. I mean, they should be out there really just destroying these guys. Yeah, so on our side, who are the players to watch today? Right now, you're going to have to watch our defensive line because th they should be getting off. I'm loving what I'm seeing out of Ezekiel Elliott. I love our offensive line, how they're playing these last few games. Um, and then, obviously, JT. He's got to go out there and light it up like he's been doing and keep looking like a, a Heisman hopeful, for what I'm hearing. Yes, and I know we didn't really want to get into, you know, all the stats about that and, you know, whether or not he's Heisman worthy. But you, you can't help it with the numbers that he's, you know, his stats. This is the problem with numbers. You get, we, we get so <laughs> caught up in what he's doing, and I'm a huge fan of his, and the kid's uh, such a poised, mature young player, and I think he's got a great grasp of this offense, and I think he's uh, possibly a better decision maker on the field than Braxton at, at times, and, and you can see that in his turnovers. He doesn't have many. He, he's very safe with the ball, and he's smart. Um, the competition. We, we haven't played any true powerhouses yet. He hasn't been tested yet. This defense will be a test for him. We'll find out early in the game how he's responding to what he's seeing out there. Now, you know, we, for the first time ever, had four games in a row with more than 50 points. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to see that again tonight. We are lighting it up right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is not the same defense we've been seeing. Right. Those windows are going to be a little bit smaller. Their team is very good against the run. Uh, if I'm Ezekiel, I'm really going to have to be patient. These, these, these holes aren't going to be as big as they were last week, but we're just better. We're just more talented. We're just more physical. We're bigger. We're stronger. We're going to win, in my humble opinion. <laughs> It'll just, it won't happen as fast as we've been seeing it happen, I think. So we really need to see, you know, players like Elliot really step it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got to have a big one. I mean, this kid's young. He's physical. He's tough. I like his style of running. He, he, he's very north and south, but he's got, some, he's got some speed to him, too, and elusiveness. He's just got to have one of those big days. All right, we got to talk about game day predictions here. Okay. What do you think? What do you, you, you have a crystal ball, a pretty good crystal ball, so I don't know what you're seeing. So, so we've been seeing, you know, in the upper 50s and yeah. all Yeah, we certainly have been. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take us down just a small notch. I, I say 42-17. All right. Ohio nice State win, Buckeyes though. roll. Still a great win. We'll take care of business, and hopefully these pollsters and, and these people who are ranking us will give us a little bit more respect. Well, yeah, you know, we've had those, uh, you know, those big numbers with the, you know, in the 50s. Mm -hmm. Does that make it better that we might be, you know, playoff worthy? I mean, do we have to beat these next teams, you know, with that much, with that much pad? Honestly, yes. With as watered down as our conference is right now, in order to really get their attention, and I mean, you know, the AP polls and all of that, you really got to, put it on these teams and you have to have these dominant wins so that it appears as if there was never a competition and there was just never a chance so that we have to separate ourselves from the rest of our conference and it's going to take a lot more of this you know throughout the season and then Michigan. It'll be like and that loss Michigan. never happened. Exactly. Look at it. God, such an awful loss. And, <laughs> and then watching Virginia Tech now is just it's sad. I know, right? You don't know how it happened. It was a fluke. It was, it was in the past. We all have bad <laughs> days. Uh, Jay Richardson, thank you. Hey, don't forget, you, you can catch the Football Fever right here on uh, our sister station, actually, ABC6. It starts at 7 o'clock when the Buckeyes take on the Nittany Lions starting at 8. And then stick around for the postgame show with Clay Hall and the crew at 1130 tonight.